What the heck is Epic up to? If you haven't heard yet, there was some really interesting leaks last week of some mysterious island with mysterious props and we didn't really know what it was. But then there was this really cool video that was leaked that showed off this really mysterious island and no one really knew what it was about. But then earlier this week, Epic started their trial against Apple and in that trial, they released a whole bunch of documents. And in those documents, they stated that apparently this island is some sort of an open world simulation sandbox mode. I mean, what? So today we're gonna look around that video and talk about what this could potentially mean for the future of Fortnite and the future of creative mode. Now, before I get too crazy with this, some of you may say, why don't you just ask Donald? And you're right, I probably should just ask Donald. <laughs> but then I couldn't talk about it here. So I haven't talked to Donald about this. I don't know anything about it. We're gonna make some guesses and dream about something that could be really cool. All right, let's go. So first let's talk about what even an open world sandbox game is. So you've got your open world games like Red Dead Redemption or Skyrim or even Breath of the Wild, which are all open world games where you don't really have direction on what you're supposed to do to get to some sort of a goal. And then there's sandbox games, which are a little bit more like Fortnite creative, something like The Sims or even like Grand Theft Auto's creative mode or Arma 3 or something like that. A creative mode where you can pretty much build whatever you want. But what we're talking about today is more of an open world sandbox mode. So I'm thinking of things like Terraria or even Rust or Ark, or the best example, which is Minecraft, of course. An open world where you can not beat it, but there is a lot of sandbox elements where you can build whatever you want, but there's still a lot of gameplay elements, whether you're trying to survive or, I don't know, beat the Ender Dragon. So as we look at this leaked video today, I'm thinking this might be more along the lines of a Minecraft or an open world survival game. But let's just take a look at the video, and then guys, I wanna know what you guys think in the comments below. So this was leaked by Fun games leak. Okay, so let's just go through this video. I'm gonna just like pause it as we go, but like you can see here, it says island coastal foothills. Basically, they've lined out all of the different trees, the wood, the materials they're using on this island. I don't think this has anything to do with what we'll actually see on this island if they ever release it. But you can see here kind of a look at what the island is. Oh, like, okay, wait. We've got places for different types of weapons, assault rifles, makeshift bows, primal bows, etc. which is really interesting. I don't know if this is just like what's gonna be available in the game or what you can use to place around an island. I don't really know here. My guess is these are the different weapons you'll be able to use to survive on this island. Okay, you can see here there's like a little camp down over here. Uh, we'll keep going through here. I mean, it's just a really cool, it's pretty big island. I feel like it's bigger than most of the creative islands that we have as we look through this. But yeah, okay, now look through here. This is like a shed area which has a really cool like furnace type thing going on. And then inside of this house here, you're gonna see like, I, I don't know, this looks to me like a survival hut or a place that you can craft things. Uh, maybe this is something you can upgrade to at some point, or maybe you can even upgrade this. Like for me, I'm hoping this is some sort of a mix between a survival mode and creative, where you can kind of build out your whole island to look the way you want it to as you survive just to, as many days as you can or something. All right, let's just keep moving through this. I mean, yeah, look, there's even like things you could, maybe Maybe like a chest or something you can store something in. I don't even know, guys. I've actually never really played the survival games much, but if Fortnite comes out with a big survival mode like this, I'm definitely going to be playing it. Now, I know a lot of you guys right now are gonna be saying, well, what about Save the World? That was a survival game mode. For me, Save the World was a little bit too grindy. Like you had to go out and do all these crazy missions and then come back to your island and upgrade it versus I just wanna be on my island and upgrading it as I go and explore and do those kind of things. Just a little bit more open world, less, I don't know, like, uh, structured as Fortnite Save the World was. And look at this area. This looks like some sort of like a farm area you could cultivate and build like your crops and stuff. I don't know. This is just really cool. And this has intrigued me so much that I'm making a whole video about this, guys. I, 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 I'm I looking forward to see what Fortnite becomes more than just Battle Royale, more than creative mode. I feel like creative mode has always been something where you can get endless games, but I also want to see what Epic is going to develop or even give us access to like, a basic survival island and that we can go and you know create our own scripts and events around it i mean that could be cool as well where we all have access to this to make whatever we want but i'd also love to just see what epic can come up with in their own survival sandbox type game mode man see look at how big this island is to get up to the top and then there's still a bunch of stuff on the backside. i don't know if this is going to be like procedurally generated or anything like that where it's going to be different for everyone honestly guys i just love seeing that they're even working 
working on something like this and that it could eventually come to us. I pray we will, but I also know that big companies like Epic are always running tests and they'll totally scrap something like this if it's not working. Regardless, I love that Epic is reaching out to try different things because I feel like the future of Fortnite is going to depend on how well they can adapt to new game modes, really integrating what creative people make and still adapting their battle royale and other game modes that they have out there. So I'm excited about this, guys. Thanks for watching. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below and have an awesome day.